Hello guys! So, today I'm going to be doing something that a lot of people have requested. It's strange that I haven't done it before, to be honest. I completely understand why so many people ask me about this. So, it's finally time that I sketch Boomy. I have a live dog in my apartment at all times. Why don't I sketch him more often? He's a beauty. He's the most handsome dog I've ever seen. And he knows it. Today I'm going to be sketching him and at the end I'm hoping I'll be able to do some kind of, not character design, but a proper portrait of Boomy. So yeah, let's see if I can actually get him to pose for me now that I'm actually asking him to. Boomy! Boomy! Here he comes! Hi! Yes! Oh, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You're gonna be a star. I'm gonna paint you like one of my French bulldogs. <laughs> So as you can see from the video, Boomy is a very very snuggly dog and whenever I sit on the floor it means that he's going to be in my lap within 3 seconds. So it was kind of tricky to get him in a spot where I could actually draw him, like detailed. But when he fell asleep in my lap, it worked out perfectly, because then he was actually laying still for quite some time. But other than that, it's very tricky to actually make him stand still for more than a few minutes at a time. So this is basically me giving up on getting Boomy to pose for me and just embracing the fact that he really really wanted to snuggle and I'm sorry this is a long sequence with me and Boomy just being freaking adorable. I'm not ashamed of it. Look at us! Look at us being so cute! Come on! Who cannot melt? I just, ugh, he's, look at that fluffy chest, oh my gosh, no, I love this dog, sorry, sorry not sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's time to sketch up a few ideas of Boomy's face. So I got my sketchbook here with the sketches of Boomy as a little bit of a reference since I can't have him sit here in front of me while I draw this portrait. So I need to use the studies that I have. Don't look at these, these are spoilers. So whoop, and here's his cute little face. Okay, so let's try to get something off of this. So I'm going to use this sketch, transfer it to another paper with my light table and then I'm going to try to, um, I'm not going to use watercolour this time because I really enjoyed using this kind of um, cross hatching, or not cross hatching but lines for fur. So I really want to try to use that in a bigger piece. I might use watercolour for the scarf and the hat but I I think I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more to this kind of style. I'm going to get this ready for us.
So, I guess it's time to tell you a little bit about my dog Boomy. Boomy is a mix of German Shepherd, Border Collie and Norwegian Elk Hound. And when I got him as a puppy, he was, what, eight weeks old? Uh, I would wait a few more weeks if I could. They should spend as much time with their mother and brothers and sisters as possible because that's when they learn how to not bite and get used to other dogs. But yeah, uh, Boomy is a mix and I don't think it's recommended to mix a German Shepherd and a Border Collie because they are both such alert dogs. They're very sensitive to sound, sensitive to movement. German Shepherds and Border Collies are shepherd dogs so they are bred to um, have control of a she but fun fact so Boomy is like I said a mix of two shepherd dogs border collies and German shepherds and still he's terrified of sheep and up in the mountains there Bergen there are herds of sheep wandering around in springtime and if he sees them close to the road I have to turn around he refuses to get close to them so <clears throat> Both Border Collies and German Shepherds are very intelligent. They are on the top list of intelligent breeds, so they can learn pretty much anything you want them to learn. I mean, Boomy can switch off the lights, he can clean up his own mess, so when he's had toys around in the apartment, I can ask him to clean them up. He puts them in his little um, suitcase, and uh, he also knows how to pick up plastic in the forest, so when I let him run loose, he can pick up plastic stick bring it back to me and then he gets streets so it's kind of like a trade i know of a lot of similar breed dogs that do fantastic things they are so clever and they just truly enjoy doing the tricks and and work in a way so boomy is my Slurred animal, I would say. He's he's been with me for five years, almost six years now, and I couldn't have asked for a better dog. Uh, even though he has his issues because he is a sensitive dog and he's a nervous dog, so it doesn't take a lot to make him anxious. That's something we're still working on. It's probably going to be something we're going to work on for the rest of his life. It's a package deal, right? Uh, another funny thing about Boomy is that he prefers cats over dogs. Since he is a bit scared of other dogs, he was attacked when he was a puppy twice. It was very unlucky. After that, he's been very, very anxious about other dogs. But with cats, cats instantly calm him down. He can be super stressed. And then when he sees a cat, he lays down and he waits because he knows that cats are scared of dogs. And the funny thing is, in our neighborhood, there's probably like seven cats just in our street. And five of them have started to just roam around in the garden outside. And sometimes it seems like they are waiting outside the door for Boomy to come out because they, they have like connected in a way. So two of the cats now dare to walk all the way up to Boomy and like touch snout. <laughs> and it's so cute. And um, it's so strange to see Boomy be so calm and content with cats. I've wanted a cat for a long time. So don't be surprised if in the future you see Boomy and me with a bunch of cats. <laughs> But yeah, so back to the, the illustration. I really wanted to capture his essence because he is a very cheeky dog and he has a very, very strong personality. He's very stubborn, he's very cheeky, he's a little bit mischievous. So like when he doesn't get the attention that he wants, he finds ways to get the attention. Like when I'm working on my computer, he will go underneath my, my desk and then switch off the power outlet. He knows that that will give him attention even though it's not good attention because it's like, ugh, oh, boomy, why? So I felt like a little bit of a rascal kind of personality type for, for his portrait would be perfect. He has a cigar and a little bit of a, like, a loafer kind of hat. He's along the train tracks and he, he's his own dog, but in all honesty, I don't think he would survive a single minute out in the wild. <laughs> He's too much of a wuss to actually be able to handle life on his own. I used um, fine liners for this piece 
Pigma Sensei Sakura and I love this brand because um, I've used Sakura fine liners for a long time but the Pigma Sensei the ink is, is like real black ink it's not that kind of faded or grayish kind of ink it's really really black I hope you liked watching this video I really really enjoyed sketching booming and I'll probably keep doing that for some time forward Oh my gosh, it's you! <laughs> Look here, that's you! Yeah! Can I finish?